Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I bring you a very special Week 7 breakdown between the division rivals, the Seattle Seahawks taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe right now so you can get all the updates from YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV with all the prediction picks and the great debate videos. Without any further ado, let's hop right into the game action. Uh, week 7 brings us two teams that are in basically right now struggling overall. I know that the San Francisco 49ers beat the Ravens over the weekend, but it's a bigger story there. Now, when you're looking at the Seattle Seahawks, the loss to the Carolina Panthers, which I predicted, by the way, um, you got to keep in mind that the Seattle Seahawks are not fully together. They didn't have all their pieces. I knew that going forward. Uh, they were missing one of the best linebackers in the NFL. You're looking overall at how this defense is playing. Russell Wilson on offense is trying to do every single thing he can, but that defense is steadily giving up big plays. You're looking overall at Cam Chancellor was getting beat on Sunday. Earl Thomas got beat on a couple of big plays Sunday. You're looking at Richard Sherman that got beat on a couple of plays Sunday. Everybody has to take accountability if you're the Seahawks defense and some of the plays that you left on the field. Cam Newton had four 80-yard drives in that big game. You're looking at how Greg Olson was a big factor in that game. The Carolina uh, defense had its way with their offense at times, and you're also looking at how Cam Newton and the offense had its way at times. So the Seattle Seahawks have to get back to the basics. They have to get back to doing what made them the Super Bowl champion that they were two years ago and what got them back to the Super Bowl last year, and that's playing uh, a very defined defense. You know that they lost uh, Dan Quinn to the Atlanta Falcons, of course, and I think that that's one of the major problems. But Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas have to call the plays um, from, from on the field. You have to keep in mind that these guys know what it took to get there because they were there. Earl Thomas and Cam Chancellor have, uh, I believe those guys are smart. They can get it done. They have to corral this defense and put people in the places where they need to be because that coach – I don't know if he's calling the correct defenses because they're giving up major plays. You're looking at the bomb that they threw to win the football game to Greg Olson. Plays like that we didn't see happening two years ago. We kind of saw it last year because of the injuries, but you thought maybe because they were injured, that's one of the reasons. But coming into this football game, I think that it's going to be no nonsense. Pete Carroll's going to have his guys fired up, and they're ticked off because they lost to Carolina. And you got to keep in mind that the 12th man, uh, uh, really, you don't see too many teams going in there and kicking that butt like that. So you you want to get their fan base back on the good track. You want to get everybody back in good spirits. So I think this week, the punching bag of the week is the San Francisco 49ers. You're looking overall at what they do. They beat the Ravens. Both those teams are struggling. Colin Kaepernick had an okay game. But those that game was not really a game that had me like, oh, okay, I'm going to watch this. Both these teams are struggling. So, um is a rebuilding year for the 49ers. So any wins that they get is a is a positive. So uh, looking at this game, I'm picking the Seattle Seahawks to win this game. I think they get back to their winning ways. And I think that you'll see this defense play a lot better. I think that overall throughout their schedule, they've played a lot of games that they could have lost so far. If you look at it on paper, the game that they uh, won against the Lions was truly not supposed to be a win. Uh, so let's just think that this team could possibly only have one win on a season. So I think they'll get back on track to their winning ways. And I think that with the Arizona Cardinals losing last week to the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think that this team realizes they have a second chance. They have a third chance. They have to start using those second and third chances to not only win football games, but to put away teams early because they've blown fourth quarter leads. So I'm picking the Seattle Seahawks to win this game. I think they'll get back to it. And uh, I think that the 49ers, they're in rebuild mode. So all you Seattle Seahawks, fan, uh, Seahawks fans, all you San Francisco 49ers fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news, all the hottest updates. Also, follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Please share this video in your Facebook group so we can debate with you each and every week. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week with Week 8. Thank you so very much.